and a 12-6 finish. His overhand curveball is an out pitch and one of the best in the SEC. Charleston swings and rips it to left field. Base hit, and now the speedy Charleston is aboard, and that makes things difficult here for C.J. Smith. There goes Charleston, and he's caught in a rundown now. Sullivan down to second. And Sullivan able to apply the tag as Charleston picked off, and now. Home plate umpire is going to call a balk, is that right? club you know th these guys have played in the postseason and they've been in tight SEC races good job by Jace Charlton reading that ball in the dirt on the wild in the bottom of the first is gonna play in won't matter because of a strikeout Tuesday night against Lipscomb hits this one in the air in a shallow right field Rogers the right fielder calls for it he makes the catch and Smith works around a leadoff single. Well, that's going to benefit Georgia, certainly when they get to postseason play. OJ Talley with a line drive single into center field. The team's leading hitter entered with a 373. Will Proctor. Ground ball back up the middle. Rucker, Martinez, and Ferguson. That's a double play. That'll drive your pitch count up and also drive you crazy if you're stars. Foul tip, but gloved by Pavoloni for a strikeout. Stallings has faced them. Infield shuffled around slightly to the right-hand side. As that hits Ferguson. Up and in. And a free pass for Tennessee after six. This ball bounces in the dirt. Ricochets off of Meadows. And Pavoloni will take second on the second wild pitch by Smith in this one. Here are the... Smith gets a strikeout. Overall, George is kind of in the middle of the pack from a, as far as a team batting average. But for the most part, they've been able to, to get the key hits in the key moments. But not last night. An error by Ricky Martinez. Because Tennessee used two of their best arms last night out of the pen, Andrew Schultz and Redmond Walsh. That's a ball. Unfortunately, at three and two, Max Ferguson Got to remind your pitcher they're going to be playing behind the runner for Georgia in this series. They haven't done a whole lot. Tally draws the walk. First issued by Stallings, who has walked six over his last two. Ground ball to first. Ferguson gobbles this up, underhands two Stallings, and that ends the innings. Most we'll loves it. I mean, he's. He's built for games like this. He loves to pitch in them, and he's been great for every weekend that we've had. Four-pitch walk to Andre Lipsius. Let me ask you Two a question. Two runs on that infield single. Punched out nine Tennessee balls. Solari hits this one right on the screws, and it bangs off of the fence in left field. Over to third goes Lipsius and Solari into second base. And Tennessee with a first big chance in this one for either side. Guy on third base just 90 feet away. Ammons flares this to left field. King will reach back and grab it in front of the warning track. Tagging from third and scoring is Lipsius, and Tennessee strikes first on a sack fly from Ammons. That is a tremendous A-B by just Martinez bounces it to third, gobbled up by Shunk, and he'll throw to first base high. But it's hauled in by Sullivan, and that ends the inning. It was a good effort, seven and two-thirds for a no decision. Last Friday night against Mississippi State. His other top outing in SEC play was the league opener. One lead, but Georgia scored three in the seventh and two in the eighth to come back and win 7 5. Yeah! Rodgers with a base hit into center field, thwarting what would be a 1 2 3 inning opportunity here in the fifth. Just the third hit of the day. See some action right here on the base. No. Nope. Stallings gets the punch out. He's got four of them. They won the Oxford Regionals. Regional and had a chance to go to Omaha, but very balanced hitter. As I mentioned earlier, leads the league in saves. Trickles this ball into center field for a base hit. Well, if you want to start a two-out rally, 
Could see some heat later tonight as Daniels rips this to right field. Rogers going back. It's over his head. Off of the fence. Then he bobbles it. Daniels around first, and he'll slam on the brakes at second base. A leadoff double for Zach Daniels. Lipsius rips this to left field. He hanged around and knocks a single into left field. In to score, Daniels. Lipsius at RBI single, and Tennessee leads 2 0. Lead to 2 0. Solari standing in. He doubled his last time up and loops a line drive into right field for a base hit. Lipsius will head for third base. First pitch swing Solari in Tennessee's offense. Starting to strike here in the sixth. Solari's a strikeout here with runners at the corners and Ammons at the plate. And Ammons lines one to the gap in left center. Maxwell is able to track it down. Both runners are tagging. Scoring from third base is Lipsius. Solari to second. Tennessee leads 3-0. Excellent job by Justin Ammons in back-to-back -back A.B. Georgia and Tennessee's offense has been able to take advantage of some opportunities as Wilcox throws this to the backstop and Solari to third. 65 and two-thirds innings, 95 strikeouts. Rucker pops this back behind second. This is a tough play and the basket catch made by Talley. And that keeps Solari at third base and there's a big second out. That was not. Swing and a miss by Martinez. That ends the inning. Single from King and a two out walk to Tally. Hard hit ground ball. Good play by Lipsius to second for one to first base and a huge double play started by Lipsius. <laughs> This guy's good. Look at that. I just struck out Pavoloni on three straight pitches. Here's ball four. And now Charleston aboard 25 stolen bases this year. There goes Charleston. Pitch out. Throw down to second. Goes into center field. Charleston pops up. Slams on the brakes. Good play by Maxwell to back it up. Otherwise, Charleston could have been standing at third base. Payoff pitch, and Daniels takes ball four. Well, you mentioned it, the amount of walks that Wilcox has racked up this season, and he's in the sixth inning that drove in a run. Pops this one up, however, on the infield, and it'll be the shortstop Shepard taking charge to end the frame. So Wilcox works around it. Otherwise, he's been able to scatter five hits so far in a walk. Swing and a miss. Stallings gets the punch out. Pavoloni with some issues picking it up, but then gathers and throws down to first base. That's his fifth punch out of this one. There's a line drive to right field. Hammond's going over, and he'll make the catch. Another quick. Start to an inning for Garrett Stallings at 90 pitches now on the day. Every game but one this year. He's moved down to the six-hole Tuesday night against Georgia Tech. He's really struggled at the plate this year. Line drive to the alley in right center. And Charleston puts it away at quick inning. Seven pitches for Stallings through eight shutout frames. One plus is a, a guy that throws hard out of the bullpen. He wouldn't get used as much as he should. Tough play for Wilcox, and just beating it out is Solari on a check swing, and he shrugs there, and you can tell that a lot of things going Tennessee's way. We might get a second look at this one as well. Well, that's the third hit for Alaric Solari. You can't coach speed, and speed never goes into a slump. And Solari has it, digging down the line. Again, Tennessee. That one bounces in the dirt, and Marshall can't find it. Still has yet to locate it. And Solari with alert base running goes over to second base. Open the scoring back in the fourth. 
Strikes out swinging here, however, and that is much needed for Wilcox. 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Wilcox gets the strikeout and strands the leadoff. Base hit. Bouncing ball back up the middle. Martinez to his left, scoops it up, throws to first. Ferguson with a stretch. Keeps the foot on the back. Four. 0-2 the count to Shunk. He bounces one and hits the glove of Stalling. Slows it down for Rucker who throws out Shunk. And Georgia down to its final out here in the ninth inning. Ground ball out to second. Rucker to first. And Tennessee has taken the series thanks to 18 shutout frames and a complete game effort from Garrett Stallings. And what an effort it was by the right-hander.